This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and this is a tutorial on getting started with RISE 360. Once you create a course in RISE 360, you'll come to this screen, and this screen is vertical. So what we're going to create is going to scroll vertically. I've named this Getting Started with RISE 360. I'm the author. Here's my short label. And the very first thing that you do when you create a RISE 360 course is to begin adding lessons. So we, a collection of lessons makes up a course. Now I'm going to fictitiously create a course on the three branches of the U.S. government. So I want three lessons, uh, one for the executive, one from the judicial, and one for the legislative. I'm going to click in this box and type in executive and press the enter key. I've created a lesson and the way that I know that is I have an add content button that appears over here. You'll also notice a small trash can so if I need to delete it I could click on that. Now I'm just going to add my next lesson, press the enter key, and then add my third lesson, legislative. So I've got a lesson for the executive branch, the judicial, and the legislative branch. Now, you'll notice that at the bottom here, it says shift plus enter to add as a section. So what a section can be is a label for a group of lessons. So if this says the three branches of the US government, if I hold down the shift key and the enter key, it creates it as a section. You know it's a section because there's no add content button beside it. Now I can drag that wherever I want. As a matter of fact, I can rearrange all of my lessons simply by clicking and dragging on them. Be very careful as you're creating your lessons because if you press the shift and enter, you're going to create sections and it gets confusing uh, between pressing the enter key and pressing shift and enter. My suggestion for building a course is to take the sections from your design document and create a lesson for each of those.